guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to factor out a monomial. From our previous videos, we know that a monomial is a single term that can be a real number, a variable, or it can be a product of a real number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. Here we have a polynomial that consists of three monomials. So we have 4x to the fourth, 2x cubed, and we have 8x squared. So these three monomials make up the polynomial 4x to the 4th plus 2x cubed minus 8x squared. Now in our previous video, which was finding the greatest common factor, we learned how to find the greatest common factor or the GCF of a polynomial. So in that video, what we did was we first found the GCF of the constants and then we found the GCF of the variables and combined it to find the GCF of the polynomial. So we're going to be applying that same GCF technique into this video so that we can factor out this polynomial by factoring out each monomial. So let's go ahead and find the GCF of the constants first. So our constants are 4, 2, and 8. So when you're finding the GCF, we know that we have to list the factors of each number. So the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. So the GCF of 4, 2, and 8 is 2. Because this is the greatest common factor between these three numbers. So the GCF is 2. Now we have to find the GCF of the variables. So our variables are x. So we have x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, and we have x squared. So we know that each of these really basically has one factor, which is x. Because if you multiply x four times, you're going to get x to the fourth. If you multiply it three times, you get x cubed or x to the third. And if you multiply it twice, you get x to the second power or x squared. So the GCF of the variables is just simply x. So we have 2 and x. And remember, since this is a product, as we said, a monomial is a, can also be a product of a real number or a constant and one or more variables with whole number exponents. So we have 2 and we have x. So when we multiply them, we get 2x as our GCF for all three monomials. So the GCF of this entire polynomial is going to be 2x. So now that we know the GCF, Let's go ahead and write it down. So we have 2x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to divide each of our monomials by 2x. So first we're going to divide 4x to the 4th by 2x. So we know that 4 divided by 2 gives us 2. x to the 4th divided by x gives us x cubed. Because remember, when you're dividing variables, you're going to subtract the exponent. So 4 minus 1 gives you 3. So we have 2x cubed, and now we have a positive sign. So we have positive 2x cubed divided by 2x. So positive divided by positive is going to be positive. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now we don't really need to write 1, but just, in, just if you need to, then you can always write 1. And then x to the third divided by x. x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 1 is going to give you x to the power of 2, or x squared. And then you have negative 8x squared divided by 2x. Negative 8 divided by positive 2 is going to give you negative 4. x squared divided by x is going to give you x. Because x to the power of 2 and then x to the power of 1, if you subtract it, you get x to the power of 1 or simply x. So the factored out, uh, if you, when you factor out this polynomial, you get 2x and in parentheses you get 2x cubed plus 1x squared or simply x squared minus 4x. So we factored out each monomial and we found the GCF of our polynomial and then we divided each monomial to find the entire factored form of this polynomial. So if you work your way step by step, this is actually a very, really easy topic. But if you have any questions regarding this topic, please make sure you leave them in the comments below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.